And if you visited the beach, maybe to enjoy some of that sun after this week's storms, you may have noticed that big parts of it are underwater and more big waves this weekend could add to that problem. Our Jamie Chambers, but with geology experts, and he joins us live from La Jolla Shores with more on that. Jamie. Good evening, Kathleen. Yeah, if you have been to the beach recently, uh, the sand levels are scary low. And while experts tell us that this is a natural cyclical process in any wintertime when you see a lot of that sand taken away, they, what they are saying is what's not normal is just how many storms have hit us and how big these swells have been hitting our coast. The storms of last week and the swells expected are creating a complete overhaul of the coast in just the last few days, with scientists scrambling to understand what the new normal is for San Diego. There is a higher sea level than there used to be, but not that much yet. The main thing we're seeing right now is the seasonal change. Come winter time, we get the bigger waves, less sand on the beach, and we get the highest tides of the year. Professor Pat Abbott says we've experienced this type of coastal assault before, but recent constant pressures from the surf has started to create irreversible issues for the sand we're used to seeing on the beach. Mother Nature has submarine canyons. We have one right here just north of Scripps Pier, another up in Oceanside. And those submarine canyons, as the beach sand moves along, goes down in those canyons to a thousand foot water depth, it's, it's lost until geologic time brings it back up. Many coastal homeowners did experience some sort of damage or flooding recently, and even with the seawall and coastal Coastal armoring. Professor Pat Abbott says it's not a mystery as to what happens in the end. If you're a homeowner on the beach, what's the plan? If you're a homeowner on the beach, enjoy it. I envy you, but don't think it's going to be having your grandkids living there enjoying the exact same thing you are. Congressman Mike Levin has secured $32 million for a new coastal sand replenishment program, which will add 1 million cubic yards of sand, hoping to slow the loss of the beaches. Professor Abbott says eventually more than just dredging sand will be needed to support the beach's future. We are, are defying Mother Nature, and the only way we can replace that that I can see is bringing sand from the desert to the coast. Now, forecasters, uh, surf forecasters are certainly worried about the next uh, swell that's about to hit us. Double overhead expecting to hit sometime late Friday along with another high tide. Will we see coastal flooding? That's the big question everybody will be watching, but certainly something to be aware of. That's the very latest from La Jolla. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.